Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. We are sat just outside Palmdale at our level crossing, which has had a bit of a makeover over the course of this series. It's starting to look the part a little bit now. I've done some painting. Uh, we'll take a look at that uh, shortly. There we go. There is a train on the way. Which direction? I'm going to say from behind us. Yes, maybe. Today, this is going to get even busier around here, isn't it? Oh, there we go. What is it? It is our coal train. We are going to get our construction materials underway, finally, and take it up to uh, Montgomery. I'm just watching everything go by. I could sit here all day, but that won't get much done, will it? To be fair, I do sit here occasionally, just for a few hours, while I contemplate what's going to go on in uh, future episodes. We're going to bring the UI up and uh, get this construction material delivery underway. We've got to get this shifted over to this platform, and uh, then we've got to take that uh, cargo up to Montgomery. But Montgomery doesn't have anywhere to drop it off yet we i think you can still drop stuff off at a passenger platform but we're not going to do that we're going to finish off and extend our platform which is what we'll do today we do not want catenary set that on flat otherwise you ramp up and we'll continue that one as well now we can build at least a single freight platform over this side we'll have an extra track then we'll have the freight platform and then we'll have a track on the other side as well and yeah that should be good what that means is we can get that delivered can't we we're gonna need a longer platform but i say we head further back this way for our freight yes does that make sense how many segments do we have there six i think six will be good enough for now and we'll get that in there we're gonna have to do some some work on the scenery aren't we up that end i will put the track in the other side so i remember later on what my plan is i do have a tendency to forget don't i there we go that means we can have a technically a double track out this way which i might remind myself later and then another platform if need be uh, we could always drop stuff off here from the the freight hub that we're having up that end we could bring it around here and have uh we could have our construction material train take it back down oh do you know what we could take from here the wood the the planks oh guys it will be bringing construction materials up dropping off the planks here possibly i mean we could take it there but we might as well, on the way back, scoot round here. It will mean this will need a bit of a rework. I didn't think about that. That would be ideal, wouldn't it? I love it. We'll have our flat cars, won't we? There was a side stake thing going on. Yes. Now I'm hungry, though. Not for side stakes. That sounds very bizarre. But for stakes in general. How are we going to get this working? I don't mind it being slow. That's fine. The question is, do we have enough of an angle to get there? Yes, we do. It's very, very slow. But I do want this very, very freighty. We might be able to do something like this as well. Yes. Would we want to go into there? I guess we should see if we can uh, add a, another track section here for later on. And, and see if that will work at this this angle. I think it might. Yeah, there we go. Lovely. It, it will be very slow around here, but given we're playing on normal mode, where it's extremely easy, once you've got going, we may as well hinder ourselves at the cost of realism, because you wouldn't have freight trains flying into a platform, would you? And with a realistic braking, it means we'll be slowing down further up this way. It does mean already we get to change this layout. I should add, I duplicated this train as well at the beginning of the episode. So we've got two running this now, which will have upped our uh, line rate to 104. It's saying currently, it may be a bit more than that. 
we might need to lengthen it as well which will possibly mean a new loco for the for the grade do i want to spend some money doing this of course you do absolutely <laughs> we we should tidy it up a little bit shouldn't we while we're here there we go just up to this point just around so we get this uh, slopiness gone because we need a bit of clearance away from the track and if we do it now it's done isn't it it looks like we will be able to make that tunnel i was thinking about especially if we raise that section a little bit and then we can have a tunnel straight after the station there which would be kind of nice won't it and we might be heading down to uh, the sawmill there and bring it back with another train whether we can just utilize the delivery train to do that it could continue on its way afterwards couldn't it yeah we'll have to think about that we might be able to meet the line rate as well it doesn't matter if it's got to have extra journeys on its route there we go guys we've got that nice and tidy should we put some gravel here since painting is free we can go to town with painting can't we there we go just get all that tidied up nice big brush send that all the way down there that's lovely a little bit tidier you can also do that trick we learned during the uh, scottish map where you take this this field sort of texture bring the brush down and you just draw on the side here like that it gives the track side a better edge like it's being maintained i do like that that was something i saw in train sim world where i saw the edge of the grass like that in train sim world and it did look the part and then i incorporated it into transport fever and it looks almost identical so that's nice whoop don't know where i'm painting there I forgot about the bridge now we need to change this section don't we we need a another crossing i guess we don't mind it over the bridge if we can have the crossing exactly on the bridge it will work it could crash the game as well do we have enough room we might do if i zoom in oh, it'll be slow let's get rid of that signal maybe that'll help there we go there we go what we got 50 can we get a 50 oh almost i mean we'll take 49 i'll absolutely take that there there we go admittedly we could have this as a diamond scissor crossing with a diamond in the center but uh yeah no i like that that's nice so we've got a lot of maneuvering that can be done over here we'll have another signal then which is just there and we'll have three heads on it uh we've got a shorter signal here that's probably not required now we can move that back oh no but that'll be fine you know what we'll have another a distance signal sort of thing going on are we happy with that i think that's that's everything we need isn't it for our train just to start dropping off there um it won't need to be that big to begin with could we do anything with this and oh we can i was gonna say can you mix and match passenger stations i never even tried this guys i'm sure i haven't where it's all part of a single single station i didn't think to try or i have done and completely forgot about it that's brilliant right yes do that i will have a couple of uh we'll have a couple of freight platforms over here uh, and a longer one perhaps like that there we go oh yes it's all a single station it's marvelous right get some storage on here we don't technically need the long platforms these days but the long platforms do give us a bit of room to stick some cargo buildings either end uh could we fit another one in there just to round that off nicely there we go oh brilliant well that's rather nice isn't it yeah so we can have our freight drop off where have we got to drop this off we should take a look shouldn't we let's get our buildings our little drop off point well it's quite close to the station look at that does it actually reach the station we do that well that bit does so we can put it a little bit in town 
We want to avoid our bus stops though. For both our trucks and our buses don't want to get in each other's way, do they? They're a little bumpy road there. Kind of like that. I'm not going to touch that. But uh, we do want to cover all the industry. We could go that way. So we could come round from here. It about covers all of our bricks, doesn't it? Oh, except that one. It's a little unfortunate, but maybe we could have a road head down there. And then the this station would cover that, technically. Ah, uh, yes. I mean, we could move it here. That would work as well. But we've got buses coming down there. We could have it on that side. That would work. Okay, that would save drawing some roads. We'll have it there. And then we'll set this line up. This will be our combat delivery, our construction material delivery. This is going to hold us up unless we had some sort of bypass road for our, our trucks. We're not going to be in the way most of the time. So if we do that, and we'll color it red for, or darker red for construction materials. And we just do a little loop around here. I like that. Yeah, that's pleasant. And uh, I'd like you to stop on a different platform. There we go. We'll just take you off the road for the time being. And um, we could use this one. Uh, actually, yeah. We'll use this one primarily. We'll give them the option to use the one on the road as well. And uh, full load. And you need to be loading our construction materials. There we go. So this will be combat delivery. By vehicle, we need a nice flatbed to take it into town. Does it matter which? We've got an AMO F-15. Well, that's all right, isn't it? It takes all. Do you know, at this point, we might as well have some uh, variation. Do we have the money? Yes, it's probably better to look before you start buying stuff. And colour it that colour, even though the red by default. Yeah, in fact, why even do that? They're red by default. Just have their uh, default colour. You can colour ones that are not red. You should be on the delivery line. Let's check if you are. <laughs> it's our little AMO. He's going to go and wait for a little while. While we go and create the new line. We may as well play it because we'll make a bit of money. I'm just going to show you here. I've added a little bit more scenery. Here we've got some more wagons. We're going to have some of the flat cars on here as well. Uh, once we've put them in. There goes our uh, iron train. Yes, I've moved the signal back here. It was leaning over to this side track here. The siding. So that wasn't the best. So I just uh, a really convoluted signal set up there just for a single si signal. But it, it does look a little better. And uh, oh, here comes our other passenger train, which is decided. It's going to go straight past Palmdale, is that? Or are you going to stop? Well, no, you're saying you're going to Montgomery. That's perfect. Is that perfect? It should be, right? You should be on the way down. And you should be heading up. Oh, it's ideal. Yeah, look at you go. Game's being all sorts of clever. Oh, yes, we've got the whistle boards down here. Oh, dear. Some whistles are longer than others. So it overwrote the other whistle. I was looking on the workshop. There are, indeed, invisible uh, whistle boards which would be ideal for the US because they do like to uh, lay on the horn, don't they, over crossings. So we could change these two here to uh, invisible whistle boards. Yeah, and leave the uh, initial whistle boards up there. So uh, we get to do the same thing, except you won't see the extra whistle board. And you can delete them easily, even though they're invisible, because you can delete them via the actual waypoint symbol. Should we set this line up as well? This will be, uh, ooh, drayage, won't it? That's what we went with. And this is quite accurate as drayage as well. So this is going to be taking our construction material. So we'll have that the same color. Oh, look at us reusing everything and utilizing all of our uh, pre-existing network. That's great. So this is uh, Palmdale Combat Drayage. There we go. Perfect. And we've got a little depot here. I'm not sure how many we're going to need here. We'll have to uh, double check. Consumers. 
Oh, it won't uh, won't trigger it yet. Let's uh, guesstimate up here. You are going to be needing 95 already. Goodness me. That's quite a lot, isn't it? So a couple might do 95 around here. It's a very short little uh, drayage run, isn't it? Yeah, so we'll buy vehicles. I guess we can go with, with these again. Should we try two? We'll see how that does. You get on there. What are you guesstimating as a line rate already? 41, we might need three or four. Although, as we know, line rate uh, predictions are a bit rough in Transport Fever. So it could be 3,022, but it's saying 46. Okay, not that bad, usually. Shall I official episode just there so it doesn't look so bumpy and bizarre? Right, that should trigger some demand soon. It is producing, but we need one more link in the chain. That is, from this station at Palmdale all the way up, it's going to use the track we were using with our oil train or fuel train. Then we'll head all the way up to that new track we laid and platform at Montgomery. So what do you want, Grand? You want a new line, don't you? Yet another new line. This is going to be from... Click on the freight icon. Oh, I forgot the uh, freight colour mod right icon color that really is handy makes it much easier when these are different colors uh anyway yes you go in there this is going to be construction materials and logs isn't it should we go with like a dark brown yeah that will work not logs planks so it's more of a lighter color but should we go with a mid orange then something like that a rusty orange yeah there we go I'm overly concerned about what colour my lines are. But it does make some sense when you're looking at them. Okay, so this is Montgomery... Ooh, what is it? Combat freight. Right, let's get back on here. We only... Well, we want you to wait for eternity for now. A full load, yes. And we only want you to pick up construction materials. And we only want you to drop off for now construction materials. And then we'll uh, we'll make your line a little bit more advanced later on. We want you on this inside track, I think. Oh, well. Do we want you off the main line? No, let's, let's have you on the inside track. Do we want it on there? Do you know what? I'm going to stick it on the, on the, the track side one. I'd like to see a bit of train on that side i mean we're gonna fill all the platforms up no doubt anyway so we've got all that set up should we get a uh a new train running on here we've got 31.6 million in the bank look at our money going up it's going up so fast now isn't it it's absolutely brilliant let's build us a new train and if we're quick well if we're quick we're paused if we time this right we should be able to come out and let him sit in the station hopefully that's going to work still because our trains are a little bit longer, but we'll see. And let's extend this and doubly make sure. Well, we don't have the length for this anymore, do we? No, we're going to have to redo that anyway. Want a little bit more length on you, if possible. Oh, look at that. It just squeezes in there. Fantastic. And we need us another piece of track connecting into there at the depot. And that should be everything. There we go. Lovely. There is technically a signal at the end of the platform here, but I guess for scenery, we can have one just in this little gap here. And I guess likewise up this end as well. There we go. Slightly offset. Now then, let's build us our construction materials slash uh, planks, right, as well. We're going to use the... Do we want to use the 9,000 to get up there? I I think it's Mikado territory. Then we're going to use the 9,000 for our uh, long haul. We can always change the loco on it, can't we? Right, and we want our... Yes, flat car with side stakes. There we go. How many do we want? Should we go with uh, 120? Well, that's only 10 million. Goodness me. Well, what's it say here? Mediocre. Do you know what? We'll start with that. It carries 132. Buy that. 
and we'll stick you on the new line we just made if we can see it montgomery combat freight that's the one isn't it and we should should have timed this correctly we'll go and wait for that up there before we do that let's quickly add us a little bit more scenery up here close to this signal we're going to add some flat cars to this mini consist we've got here we've got a bit going on over there as well where they're building their consists they would be in real life unfortunately we can't do that in transport fever can we find the side stake one i think it'll be at the end here somewhere it's not that one is it it's is it that one it might be that one or is it that one i don't know we're gonna need to get the train out i can't remember just by the icon right you come out here we want to match your uh match your wagons i don't think it's that one they look like too big i think it is those possibly it might be these down here but i don't think so is it these ones it is these ones isn't it yes they match <laughs> right are you gonna uh all fit on there thankfully it didn't go through the station i didn't think about that that could have been a bit of a snarl up no because there's no light stopping it up there no signal bags of room that's beautiful hopefully you get right of way and can make your way down there i'm sure you will will you maybe yeah you've got a bit of speed you're now out the uh depot oh actually who gets right of way here no you're um, you're giving way to the guy that's busy that's an interesting choice okay <laughs> there we go thought they're gonna race then that'd have been awesome yeah, that works, doesn't it? Plenty of room as well. Look at that. That's nice. We don't, like, lean over to it. So he's got to wait now for him to get past this signal up here at the junction. But there's only one coal train, so we'll be absolutely fine there. Right, let's uh, prepare a partial consist for our train that we're never going to actually use. Oh, couldn't find the knuckle there. You want to go... No, not like that. There, like that, that'll do. It looks like it's connected, doesn't it? And then we want threes, I think. No, fours. There we go, as long as they're touching. Just don't want them embedded in, in each other. There we go. Oh, it should do, shouldn't it? Just a little bit of extra scenery. Yeah, got some tankers and some flat, flat cars as well beautiful who are you marcus 117 that's one of our mainline trains isn't it that's doing oh yeah what's the name of that uh corridor now i think it's the john taylor there it is john taylor fuel corridor it feels very american john taylor fuel corridor does sound a little bit like it's sponsored where everything's sponsored in the u.s yeah right that should have uh, triggered demand and it has indeed we want to only see what we can see uh line rate saying 80 at the moment we need to hit 90 how many do we have on there three it might pick up a little bit we're going to be asking for a little bit more soon it's going to take a little while for our our train to get down here it's currently running on a section of track it won't usually run on so i'm not bothered about that we're gonna see how our stone train is doing are you getting filled you are look at that are you balancing that out a little bit you might be we've got uh, a rate of 117 and versus 33 you will possibly favor our train here as the line rate picks up as well but it is splitting them are you are you actually going to drop anything off on here i might leave the odd truck running this and we'll keep an eye on it over the course of a few episodes so far i think it stopped delivering there which is fine and it's favoring the, the faster line uh, it, the, ignore the frequency that i don't think that's very accurate it might no it shouldn't be i don't think it'll take 10 minutes to get there will it no well that'd be a complete round trip won't it it wouldn't take 10 minute round trip right how close are you you need 16 more come on quarry 
Oh, you left. Oh, did I not put it on Wait for Eternity? That could be accurate. Uh, uh, well, actually, yes. Get your first delivery going. It will uh, hopefully improve the frequency and the line rate and everything. Manage line. Oh, did I not? No, look, I put you on three minutes max, which is not too bad, I guess. Yeah, we're going to have to wait for this shipment to get up anyway. Uh, we, we should be meeting the line rate of the factory itself. The, not a factory, it's a quarry, isn't it? Yeah, look at the diggers down there. The conveyor belts and stuff. I do like the little animations. I never really go and look at them. In fact, Alt-G. Right Alt and G. There you go. Isn't that pleasant? All that goes on in all the little uh, industries around the map. I do like that. Right, anyway, I hear a truck behind us. Get the UI back up. What you doing? Oh, no, you started to deliver a bit more there while our... Uh, well, our train's on its way. We might take a ride on this one. It's got an interesting route, although we've not done much in the way of scenery. And uh, you are going to take almost a full load, though, 80 or 96. It will give our factory up there a bit of stores, won't it? Well, we've got 63 stored. We've got that 100. No, not 100. We've got 80 on the way. We might have a few trucks with uh, some stuff in as well. We have some construction materials. I clicked on the wrong one. We have 34 construction materials already waiting for our train, which is... Where are you? You are... Is that you coming around the bend now? Is that a, that's a fuel train? Oh, you've left the junction. You must be on the way. Where are you? There you go. Side stake man. He's on the way. Oh, but you're not stopping there. Where are you going? Montgomery? I don't understand why you'd go to Montgomery. Yeah, they're two-way signals. You can get across there, can't you? Yeah. What are you doing? We'll turn you around. We'll do a little bit of dispatching. Can we get across there? Yeah, of course we can. We'll wait for his back end to get... Uh... Oh, you don't need to get across. No, we'll just wait for you to get past... Oh, are there one-way signals? Stop you. We need your back end to pass there, but we need you to stop. Stop, stop, stop. Ooh, will that count? We're through a one-way signal, or is that two-way? Is that two-way signal? No, oh, it's one-way. You are past this switch, though. No, you needed to be past that switch. Right, you're going to have to see if we can flip you around. Will you go to Palm Duck? There we go, guys. <laughs> A little bit of dispatching, although we would have had exactly the right amount of room. Look at that, if we would have just made our back end go past that uh, point there. Well, that's fine. We're heading into the station now. This isn't one way, is it? No. Good. Brilliant. Come and get your uh, first bit of construction materials. Oh, I hate that when you click on these, it brings up the passenger one by default. Stop that. We want the freight. We don't care about passengers. No one heard that on the platform. Load up. You've got 52. What's your capacity? You carry 132. And do we have a stone train coming through the tunnel yet? Where are you? You are... Have you already delivered? You've already delivered. Goodness me. You now store 116. Oh, look at that production. It's right up there. And the shipment is going to go up as well, isn't it? Yeah. Shipment is 95 of 100. Has it gone up to 95 already? I thought it said 90. It has indeed gone up to 95. Well, we are taking passengers, aren't we? Which is making them grow a little bit. And they've now got plenty of orders. So, uh, yeah, we should see a bit of a growth spurt from Montgomery. Probably up to Palmdale sizes. These two should possibly level up together. There we go. Our train is getting a whole bunch of uh, construction materials now. Uh, yeah, let's zoom down here. You are... you Well, the Comats is now a line rate of 98 a year. And our drayage is 78. All right. Well, that's not bad, is it? 
I, I'm still not sure whether that's accurate though. We might actually be a little bit higher. There we go. We're already up to 79. Um, we'll see when he drops off because it should update every time there's a drop off and a pickup as well. So now that the construction material factory is up to speed a little bit, we'll see. Still saying 79. We may need another truck on there. Possibly. We might need to lengthen these though. Uh, and add some storage now. So we've got a little bit of headroom. But you, yeah, you, you're doing all right, aren't you? 79? Are we saying that's what it's going to be? It's going to take a little while to load our trains. I do like that though, if we close this. It's nice to see our trains parked up in here. Although it will possibly only be the first delivery. Because uh, by the time we've made it up to Montgomery and we're back down the hill again. We should have a whole bunch of goodies waiting for us on the platform. Have you changed your line rate yet? If you haven't, we'll add another truck on there. Uh, 79. That's fine. Manage vehicle. We'll add another one on there. That should get you above the 95. Although, was it 95? It might be going up. 95, that'll do, wouldn't it? Yeah, they shouldn't be queued up too long up here. Not enough to make us worry. We could lengthen this a little bit, perhaps. So that we can have more trucks sitting up there. Uh, just while we're in a growth stage anyway. Yes? Well, do you know what we could have? We don't have any uh, buildings in here, do we? Yeah, we're lacking scenery. Oh, guys. I forgot about passenger buildings. I have not even looked at those. Well, ignore those for now. We're doing cargo. Oh, that's lovely. I do like those. We want them that side, I think. Yes, just one there. Can we fit one in here? No. We could probably have a little one at the front, maybe. There we go. We'll have one up there. There we go. A little shed. Maybe that's got some fuel in it or something. That's got some storage in it. Not fuel for our lines, but fuel for our trucks. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Little pumps and stuff. Little fuel pumps. Could you imagine if these did take fuel? And that was part of your... Uh, your... Uh, logistics. Where you'd have to fuel your trains up. And it's something that's missing, isn't it? A little bit. From Transport Fever. There's no fueling. Whatsoever. I just realised. <laughs> I, I've been playing Sweet Transit and there's definitely fuel involved there. I'm also quite terrible at making lines and uh, putting waypoints and extra stops in. But anyway, what we got coming around here? A passenger train. You're going to come flying through the uh, the crossing there. you got some speed going. Oh, 62 miles an hour into the station. You Maybe he was late. It still doesn't uh, excuse recklessness, does it? You shouldn't be doing 62 approaching that. We might have to slow that junction down for a bit of realism. Which would be nice, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it's not ideal if you're trying to get the line rates. But it would be nice to uh, not have trains bolting through there at 62 miles an hour if they're pulling into the platform. We have our first delivery on the way, don't we? Is that you? No, you're the other passenger train just making it up there. Both trains are full. What are the finances like? We want the uh, actual line rate, don't we? Charts. Look at all that. Finances. There we go. You're going to be making quite a bit now. Love it. Right, that's a money earner. It doesn't matter whether it makes a huge amount of profit as long as it's making a profit. That means it's paying for itself. How are we doing on our uh, construction materials? We are almost done, aren't we? We've just got another couple of... Another... How many we got? Three. Three more cars to load. Wagons. But this is flowing quite nicely now, isn't it? Yeah, it'll be a little bit quicker. Uh, the only problem we're going to have, possibly the break in big delivery from our train. Uh, although, saying that, it looks like it's almost balanced this out a little bit. As, as our trucks are uh, being ignored now. I take it back. No, they're being ignored, aren't they? We can start selling some of these then, I think. And we'll sell three of you. In fact, we can probably sell them all, can't we? Yes, sell those three. 
confirm disposal. That's one way to put it. How are we doing here? You are being loaded. You're on wait until eternity now. And I'm not even sure these will get loaded. I might have sold one that had some goods on. Should we just ditch that line for now? It seems pointless. They're completely relying on our... Oh no, they're still dropping a few off on our trucks here. But that's that's taking it away from our train. Our train could be loading a lot quicker. Yeah, do you know what? We'll uh, manage vehicles. Let's just sell the lot. And we'll get rid of that line completely. Stone Shunter. Yeah, you are no more. Vehicles online. Oh, I almost sold the... Thank you, Transport Fever. Yes. No. Shunter. That's not... A, when's that been a shunter? Our trucks. That's our haulage. This is the one we want. The, the one that's flashing aggressively now is the correct one. There we go. Thank goodness it won't delete lines when there are vehicles on there. That's actually a good thing, isn't it? Yes. Well played. Right. Should we get on this one? I'm actually going to save it and then we're going to flip this one. Well, it's almost full, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. It should fill up quite quickly as well now. It won't be uh, dropping the odd one off to uh, the other line. And then we'll ride this one up to Palmdale. There we go. We should see all the fancies going on. All right, guys. We are just leaving the station, heading for Palmdale. Uh, well, at the side, side of Palmdale, not the big, big Palmdale station, but our little uh, our little sideline, what we call in it, spur. Yeah, we've got a station to drop off there. We don't actually interact with the main line on this one at the moment although depending what we're going to do with our uh, our current construction materials train that might be bringing planks back it could be coming up this way and sharing part of this branch line which would be kind of nice wouldn't it we'll have to do a proper junction then uh, near the tunnel although we could do opposite running down there couldn't we Yes, we could we can figure that out. We could make it a sort of semi one way system, but running on the opposite side, which would mean some gantries and stuff. That'd be cool. Yeah, we'll, we'll try and work that out. But soon we'll ride that uh, construction material train on the way back down because you'll get to see more of Palmdale and stuff coming down the mountain as she comes. But anyway, guys, I'll leave you on board this. Still lots to do on this map. We're going to have to check on some numbers, aren't we? When we come back and uh, make sure everything's roughly okay for now. And then start thinking about logs. And uh, getting close to building that, or starting to build, that freight line and our western corridor. Which we haven't even really made a start on. Although, we've hinted at it with a few junctions. So yes, guys, thank you for watching. And until next time. Take care.